In a little town, in a little house, lives a little girl called Nosy Nina. Let's see what she's up to today. <laughs> Whoa! What are you doing there, Nina? Oh, hi, Mr. Voice. Me and Smarty Pants are playing Mad Scientist versus Superhero. I'm the Mad Scientist. <laughs> I said, <laughs> Oh no! Super Smarty Pants is gonna catch me! Aha! I know! I'll use my new super awesome invention! What's it called? It's called a microscope! Sometimes Dad looks through this part and says, hmm, a lot. Hmm. Hmm. Mr. Voice? Smarty Pants says he can't see anything. He can't? Well, that's probably because the microscope isn't plugged in. Well, too bad it's not plugged in. If it was, you could see all kinds of things. Like, um, mm, Mr. Voice, what's a microscope for? That's a very good question, Nina. Let's take a look at the knowledge pad. You see, Nina, all around us are living things like animals and plants. But there are also other living things that we can't see with our eyes because they are very, very tiny. The microscope is like a super powerful eye. It helps us see these tiny living things. And some bigger things look different under a microscope, too, like a leaf. Or a small insect. Because a microscope helps us see these things up close, we get to study nature and find out more about the things around us. And that's what a microscope is for. So now I know! I bet there are so many interesting things to see in the garden. But I don't know how to use Dad's microscope. Well, why don't you use your knowledge pad as a microscope lens? Oh yeah! Knowledge pad, give me a microscope lens! Got it! Let's go outside and try it out! Let's go, Smarty Pants! Come on, Smarty Pants. Let's take a look at some stuff. Wow! What's that? Oh, it's a leaf. But it looks so different. Ew! Is that an alien? That's no alien, Nina. It's just an ant. And this must be Smarty Pants! <laughs> Are you writing in your blog, Nina? Yes, I am. I want to share what I've learned with all my friends. Thanks to the microscope, we can see so many things up close. Scientists like my dad use microscopes every day to learn new things. And that's what a microscope is for. Isn't that great to know?